Hello everyone, welcome to the finale of our reading of the Tsukihime manga. So, uh, we're going to be reading today volume 10, which is very short, as well as the epilogue, which apparently is also pretty short. Uh, I'm very excited to see this end. Uh, if you didn't remember last time, they had a really big cool anime fight, and, uh, and then Shiki whited out, not unlike he was a Pokemon trainer. So, uh, with that said, not much else to say other than let's get going and finish up this manga. I'm very excited because, you know, it's nice to finish one of these. It's been a long time since I've actually finished a manga and I felt what I would say truly satisfied. Usually it comes down to I wish there was more or I felt like it dragged on too long. But, you know, kind of knowing the general story going in, I could say I was, well, already very satisfied. But let's see how this ends here. So. Here we have the cover, a very nice contrast, well not contrast, but a companion to the one with Shiki with the white background also. It almost looks like they're about to hug each other, which is so cute, I want to vomit. So, uh, with that said, I think let's get reading. Okay, so. Oh, look at this color spread. Oh, isn't that nice? Look at them. I love Shonen Sasaki's art so much. He's so good. Well, how can how can one man be so based? And even look, they're like the seasons, right? You got like spring, fall, winter, I guess summer, and then she's the Arcuid, the main girl, is all of them. Because the sky is what links them all together. How deep. In the classroom here, everything's turned back to normal because, of course, uh, the time powers have restored it. The Tono Mansion stands. You can see the leaves have fallen. It's cold. Isui walks with the uniform to the room. Good morning, Shiki-sama. Please wake up. Now, is that a daily wake up or is that a you've been in a coma and I ask you every day Shiki-sama uh oh real nice touch that the way the bed sheets look almost look like strained um like a strained arm or like a strained body part do you see that where it almost looks like like you know like you know when someone tenses up their arm and you can see their veins looks like that Please, wake up. If you're late like yesterday, you'll break your promise with Akiha-sama. If it pleases you, Akiha-sama will end up scolding you again today. <laughs> that does not please me at all. Okay, so he is awake. He is fine. He's not in a coma. So you're awake. I've been awake for a while. Fu. Oh, you can see his dots on him. Oh, he can see them everywhere. And the question is, when he puts them on, they're gone. He's all good. Morning, Hisui. Good morning, Shikisama. Well then, after you're finished washing up, please head towards the dining room, Shikisama. Got it, thanks. Hmm. This looks like there's an unresolved plot line. Which there is, because they didn't do anything about twins at all. Oh, what, what's this? Ex oh, she was. Oh, I was like, what's this expression? She was excited for it to be Shiki, and then nope, it's not. And and look, look at Kohaku. Kohaku knows. Morning, Nikiha. Breakfast, Shiki san? Nah, I'm fine this morning. All right, then I'll just bring you a cup of tea. Thanks. You're up early today, too, Akiha. You're the one who is up, who, who is up late? Oh, as in like a what? Okay. Nissan. The only reason I'm letting you head back to school is because you said you had you had said you were covered. No, no, as a student, shouldn't you be heading to school too, Akiha? Oh, is she transferring? Is that going to be brought in here? It is indeed a student's duty to study, but you can study just as well right here in the comfort of your own home. I'll go get a tutor to teach you. There's no need for you to go to school. That's, that's overdoing things. If you think that's too much, then I'll teach you myself. 
Oh boy. Oh, oh, this, this, this is, this is the Akiha we, we know and love. What, you know, not, not what we, not what we see later on with her in a certain route. There's nothing wrong with me worrying about my brother's studies. No, 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 no. Anyway, let's put the, this off for today. I'll be leaving now. Ara, ara, really? You're gonna ara, ara? I don't know about that. <laughs> he ran away. I should have said something like, I just wanted to be with you. That would have done it. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, David put a little heart in the dialogue. That, you know what, though? That fits Kohaku. That does. Like, no, she would be able to say less than three in a cute way. I know that. Blame me for being such a wool-headed fool. Hmm? Would someone like yourself give up so easily, Akiya-sama? Whoop. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yep, I was calling it. Well then, I'll transfer myself to Nissan's school. Please take care of the arrangements, Koaku. <laughs> yes, this'll be interesting. That's, you know what? That's a nice touch that I actually really appreciate them bringing forward into this route. Even so, Nissan. God, oh, the perspective is so good. He's looking around, ready to spot a white woman. Looks like winter's finally here. Oh! That part still busted. Well, I guess so, because that happened... There there wouldn't be enough, you know, magic going on with Roa dead when that happened. That night, I woke up in my room. It seems Senpai had carried me here. Fortunately, Akia and the others didn't seem to know I'd left. Fortunately, my eyes seem to have gone back to how they were before, unable to see death so long as I'm wearing my glasses. Hey, you listening, Shiki? Hmm? My relationship with Akiya is a bit uneasy at times, but of course, we're still brother and sister. Hisui and Kawaku continue to treat me as they did before. I said to celebrate your recovery, let's go have a blast at the Mark II. The Mark II? What, 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 what is that? Sorry, but I haven't fully recovered. I'll give it a miss this time. Ugh, <laughs> boring. It's been a month since that night. Reconstruction work has since started on the high school. Mizuka's still around too. That's a that's a that's a unique thing because like she disappears in pretty much every story that she doesn't die in. So hmm. Well, these things appear to have settled down. Tonoshiki's life has returned to the way things were before. Is that right, Yumizuka-san? Uh, me? <laughs> No, something did change. Well, we haven't heard of any murders lately, but the culprit still hasn't been caught, so we aren't exactly safe yet. Ah, right. Yumizuka, do you happen to know CL Senpai? She? Eru? I'm sorry, I can't say that I do. There's no one called CL here in the school. No one remembers her. I see. Well, don't worry about it. Tonokun, will you listen to something strange? But didn't we... Promised to visit the theme park together, Tonokun, Inumikun, and I? Uh, right? That's some strange dream. Even I can't believe something like that happened. Rahiko, do you remember anything like that? <laughs> nope, not at all. But something about that seems strangely familiar. Well then, shall we visit the park then? Uh, so, doesn't sound too bad. Alright, let's go, Yumizuka. Since Tonokun is coming, we might as well come along. Okay, alright. It's been a month since the last occurrence of the vampire serial murders, and it appears that the case is nowhere close to being solved. But still, all the attention prob uh, given to it will probably die out sooner or later. Aw, look. So, I like the touches. Like, twice now we've seen him looking for where Arkwood was. We have the, like, the side grating where she was sitting. We have down here. That's nice. Was there something interesting out there? Nope. For some reason, I just feel at peace. <laughs> you feeling okay? That's a big, that's a big, that's a big boy picture. <sighs> as for me, I carry an unfillable void in my heart, but I continue on as I did before. Or rather, I can bear it all. Hmm. Now here's the question, though. Will we, will we get, which, which sort of ending are they going to go for? Also, McDonald's. Love you, McDonald's. Oh, Is that so? I like ifs, though. Even if it is, sugarcoating things, isn't it better? There's always some hope. Oh, 
Speaking about what ifs, huh? There's even a blonde lady that he sees. Oh no. Well then let's head back home. Kawaki will be whipping up another fabulous dinner tonight. And I'll be visiting the theme park together with Yumizuka-san and Arihiko in the weekends. In in the weekends? In the weekends. These are things to be happy about, aren't they? That's right. I should feel pretty contented with my life. Should be feeling pretty contented. And yet, why does my heart feel... Shiki. Ah, there she is. Shiki. Aw. Oh, wait, wait. No, oh, really? Shiki-san? Uh, Kohaku-san? Mo! I've been calling your name for a while, but you totally ignored me. What is it, this thing I'm enduring anyway? I've seen so much art of, um, Kohaku, like, in casual clothing that I never, like, going out shopping, that I never once assumed that she would be, like, out here doing the shopping in this sort of outfit. But just fan art, right? And who knows, maybe, maybe Kagetsu Toya will go into that. What are you doing here, Kohaku-san? We ran out of cooking oil, so I'm here to stock up on ingredients. Besides, it's a good reason to come out looking for you. For me? Shiki-san, do you know how long you've been gone from home? What? Well, it's this late already? Do you think Akiha-san and Hisui-chan would notice? You're always making other people worry about you, Shiki-san. Also, she's not smiling here. Which is like... A strange thing to see. Sometimes I'll see things that remind me of her. Shiki-san, you're still prone to getting lost sometimes, aren't you? But that is something that cannot be helped, I suppose. Sorry. Perhaps eventually, such things won't move me as strongly as they do now. Uh, okay, I, I forgave the one blank box up here, but that's just her speaking Japanese in that bubble. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> The, the translation team went home early today, I guess. Be sure to apologize to Akiya-sama and Hisu when you get back home. Got it. I was worried too, you know. So much that I broke three vases while cleaning the house. That's a little too much, Kohaku. I know that you're a guy, Shiki-san, and guys will leave the house as and when they want. I mean, that, yeah, ugh, awkward. But promise me this, then you'll always return home safe and sound. Right, I got it. Uh, you're up. You're too uptight, Kohaku. I'm serious, you know. Next time I have to come searching for you, there'll be an interesting punishment waiting for Gore. You, Kohaku. That's one day when I no longer endure the pain in my heart. When that time comes, I wonder if I'll be able to continue living as I do now. Well, I guess the chance of that happening is about fifty-fifty, I suppose. Well, until that day. I may be a little childish, but I'll do whatever I can to hold on to the promise I made with her that day. Oh. Oh. When all this is over, when we beat this vampire, why don't we do something like this again? At that time, she tilted her head to the side as if in confusion. I was wondering if, what would happen if we were to meet again without any responsibilities, and we just met for no particular reason? Just meeting again as two friends who got along doing anything in particular. If we could create some normal memories like that, I knew she'd be happy. Right. When this all over, finally over, let's come back here again, Shiki. There might not be any meaning to it, but I'm sure it'll be very fun. I'll never forget the smile she had at the time. I'll always be waiting here. I won't forget. I can't forget. These hours until the vermilion fades completely. The quiet time till the crimson sky disappears. Even though I'm waiting for someone who can never come, my heart is strangely content. Big old picture. I'm gonna zoom out. God, again, just the emotions that they're able to draw on the faces. Just so powerful, man. <gasps> oh my god, wait, that's crazy. Page one, page two. And because it's like a double spread, just imagine being like, oh man, that's sad. And then actually physically turning the page and going, ah, there she is. Damn shame there's the big old line in the middle. 
Dang. Way to ruin the mood scanner line. Oop. Gotta hand it to you. I really was planning on disappearing, Shiki, but you just continued waiting for- You just continue waiting forever. Couldn't just leave you alone like that, so I came here. Well, I did say I'd, I would never break a promise with you again. Thank you for keeping that promise. Welcome back, Arquid. Oh, the soft smile. Oh. Yep. I'm back, Shiki. Oh. Oh, the littlest words strike the hardest, you know? My heart is filled with joy. It's because you've returned to me. Well then, where shall we go today? Is there a place you want to go, Arquid? That's right, there's a pretty interesting movie showing at the cinemas now. Shall we go watch it? That sounds fun, but I'll pass for today. Is that so? Well, how about we... No, that's enough. Forgive me, but this time I'll be the one to break my promise with you, Shiki. I, I tasted human blood once a long time ago. Before that, I didn't know what the vampiric impulse was. God, I love the way that they use the panels to show the changing of time. The other true ancestors seemed to believe that I did not have it. But the truth was that it just hadn't appeared to me yet. Back then, I only knew what they taught me. That's why I didn't know I wasn't supposed to drink that. Oh. Was she tricked? Oh. Oh, that's new. After that, I managed to bring myself under control. However, the human whose blood I drank managed to steal a portion of power from me became one of the strongest dead apostles in existence. He went on a rampage, and consequently, all the other true ancestors other than myself was killed. Because of that one mistake, I destroyed everything. That isn't your fault. It's their fault for not teaching you any of these things. Those guys had it coming. I'm only here because you've completely destroyed- you could completely killed Roa. Even though I've killed him so many times, it was only his physical body and not his soul. But you destroyed his very existence, Shiki. And then the power Roa stole returned to me, and I was able to revive myself. Thank you, Shiki. That's fine then, right? And there's no problem, is there? But this is it for me. It's impossible for a true ancestor to maintain their sanity once they've tasted human blood. The vampiric impulse has been awoken inside me. It's all I can do to keep it at bay. That's why... Like I said, there's no problem, is there? Even with all that, there's no problem because I... I won't see you again, Shiki. That promise, I would have to break it, sorry. I want to be by your side. That promise, you can still keep it. Shiki? That's a really good picture for doing a basketball edit. I love basketball edits of... of Tsukihime stuff. Just drink my blood. That way, you'll still be able to keep your promise. Hmm. You can see the time passing, the consideration, the thinking. That's true, but I won't do it. I won't drink your blood, Shiki. Why... why won't my blood do? Is there a reason why you won't drink my blood? Yep. Oh. Big one again. God, these full-page spreads are amazing. I like you, so I won't. Oh. Oh, these two-page spreads are so good! I want to stop her. 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 Even have to kill her, I want to stop her, but her smile is just too gorgeous. Oh, man. Oh, this is rough. This is actually almost hitting me even harder than when I read it in the visual novel. Well then, Shiki. Thank you for everything up till now. My throat trembles, but no sound comes out. And so I have to say goodbye. I am a liar. Why? You did keep your promise with me, didn't you? Just a worthless liar. I said I promised I would give you happiness. No, 
that's not true. From now on, I'll be sleeping. And I'll be dreaming of the time we spent together. Oh, that's a... Aww. The times I spent with you are the best times I had in my life. And that's why I'll be dreaming of it. Forever. And ever. Love me a good... Love me a good collage. Good... Good things come from collages. It won't have any meaning. I'm sure it'll be very, very fun. That's why I'm really am happy. You did bring me happiness, Shiki. Such a thing. Such a thing, I... You're kind, Shiki. Yep. Just as I thought, it's a good thing for me to come say goodbye. I love you, Shiki. Your honesty, how you always spaced out. I'm the only one you yell at. I yub, love, oh, yub, I love every aspect of you. That's why I want you to do me a favor. From now on, please go through life with a smile on your face. Hmm. No, no. No, with those words. Bye bye. And a gentle wave of her hand as if fading into the sunset it disappeared before my eyes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why well, you always gotta write these fleeting dream type stories? Me too, bud. Me too. Right. I promise, you certainly did keep it. In this classroom, the promise to meet again in this classroom as the sun set. She certainly did keep it. I've lost something. Think about it, a farewell was always there. It's just our farewell came early. With that in mind, this is a really satisfying goodbye. She's still alive, and she told me that she's still happy. Yeah, kind of same. Block this overhead desk. Damn it. It's not what I wanted. This ending is not what I wished for. I just want to be with her more. I want to talk to her more. I wanted to feel her body's warmth more. I want to see her smile more. Always. Not like this, but always. I wanted to make her happy. She was smiling to the very end, and she told me to continue living life smiling. What was her final wish? There's no way. I can do something like that. There's no way. I can live life the way she wants me to, but even so. Even so, for her to be able to see a happy dream, I'll try to grant her wish. Hmm. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, you're having a rough time. Oh, I was bye bye the saddest thing it could be said. I realize that night has come. Crimson sky has been painted over with a deep dark blue. The dark night sky, the spiral wisps of clouds and a bright white moon. That's all that's left of an extreme, extremely beautiful memory. She may long, no longer be here, but I have to say what I've forgotten to earlier. See you. Me too, I had lots of fun as well. Only the glass light moon hangs in the night sky. It looks as if it could shatter as if... As if one so much as touched it, the distant blue moon, for a long time until dawn came, I kept looking up at it, until dawn came. Blue, blue glass moon under the crimson air. Oh my god! That's, that's why it's under the crimson air. The blue glass moon that comes after the vimil- Oh my god, that makes sense now. Huh. Okay. Well, that would be the end, but we're not actually done yet. Because, uh... I do have me... The epilogue. Ever after. Apparently 56 pages long. Okay. Suddenly I open my eyes. 
Oh, 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 we're doing, we're doing the end, huh? Okay. What are you wearing? A vast night sky. In the midst of a grassy field that extends as far as the eye can see, I stare blankly at the moon. There's no one else here. No signs of human presence. No sounds from any animals. Maybe it's because I pushed myself too hard. These past few couple of days, I just wanted to lie down quickly and be alone, but it seems I fell asleep. It was a bright darkness, probably because the moon was hanging so low. The grassy field that looked like a black sea last night is bright, like some sort of a stage. A clearing illuminated by sharp, sharp moonlight. But it was just like a theater somewhere. Only there are no curtains around. The field of grass that sweeps far and wide is devoid of any curtain-like trees, nor is there the existence of an audience or a stage crew. It's only the moonlight and the white darkness. The wind does not blow, and the grass does not sway. How quiet. I laugh quietly, as it feels like the commotion until yesterday was all just a joke. But if you talk about jokes, then my life until now was so happy that, looking back at it, it seems like it was just an illusion. So much has happened. There were a lot of amazing things that occurred, and thinking back now, they really were the most dangerous moments of my life. Some things in this world happened because they were meant to be... While well, others in this world happening if they weren't, everything feels like an illusion, a fleeting dream. Looking back now, it seems that no matter how trivial things seem, seemed, all these coincidences built on each other. The days were only a repetition of each other, and no two days were quite the same. Then perhaps that means, perhaps each and every one of them was an irreplaceable moment that I can never return to. I recall so many things that happened. The memories are so nostalgic they makes me smile. Just the thought of all the new experiences awaiting me in the future, different from those in my past, makes me dizzy. Happiness, excitement, and worry enough worries to give me a headache. It's truly a mix of emotions. Whoa, whoa. Carried away by the moment, my heart beats loudly once. What comes after is my usual anemia. The dizziness continues for a while, but it eventually disappears. Even though the wound on my chest healed, my anemia didn't go away. Seems like that alone wasn't the cause for my fragile health. Well, of course, it's probably because I am able to perceive the... It's probably because I'm able to perceive the shape of death and I probably stand much closer to it than anyone else. Truth to be told, I've never thought about living a long life either, unlike ordinary people. Thump, the sound of my own heart beating. It's not like me to think this way, but I do wonder just how long I keep on running through time like this. The conclusion is rather uninteresting. Because even if it stops tomorrow, or in a few decades still... Boy, I'm just saying it's dangerous for you just lying around like that. And there she is. Wow, we're doing this, huh? Wow, we're doing this. Hey. Wow. You're pretty. You have an awful lot of free time on your hands if you can just sleep around here in the middle of the night. I was as close to kicking you and sending you flying, so you better watch yourself. <laughs> Be kicked and sent flying? By who? This is an obvious stupid. You even need to think about the answer to something like that. You and I are the only ones here. Do you think it could be anyone... Do you think it could be anyone other than me? <laughs> Can't believe it. Even though I somehow felt I'd be meeting you, I didn't think it, today would be that day. What a coincidence. I didn't expect to bump into you in a place like this either. Despite having heard that you were here, we never ended up meeting each other, did we? So, I thought that it was our fate this time not to meet, but oh well. Come to look for me before? Was it because of the whole thing? Yep. I am a member of the association after all. We're not on quite we're not quite on good terms with the church now. See, this incident this time was partially my fault, you know. So I stopped by here for a final check. And I almost ended up kicking some ordinary person and setting them flying. Uh, then that is to say, we were fated to meet. And to be honest, I also felt we might end up meeting again today. That's right. If it's that sort of fate, then I definitely welcome it. Long time no see. You've grown up, Shiki. Yeah, you seem to be doing well too, Sensei. We sit in the field of grass and begin to make small talk. We talk about senseless things, just like the old days. Be about things that have already happened. Be about things that have yet to happen. We just chatted as time passed us by under the blink of an eye. I literally just realized 
the nighttime version of her stage in type Lumina with the crazy stars that looks absolutely beautiful. It's not just a night version. It's the epilogue version. That's rad. Alright, it's about time for me to go. I plan to leave before dawn, so we'll have to part here. That's so. It's about time for me to... Oh, Cheeky? <laughs> Dang, can't be helped. Looks like no sleep or rest until last night has started to catch up with me. Oh, I see. That dizziness just now is your biggest weakness, huh? You don't look to have any injuries. Is your body alright? Thank you for your concern. But unlike Sensei, I have a normal person's body. Normal person's? I mean... I'd... I'd argue that's... Not the case... I'd say you're slightly not normal, but... If you say it like that, then I'll take your word for it. Shiki, can you feel that you're not going to last much longer? Yeah. I do kind of already know about it already. That's so. You seem pretty calm about it. As things are now, your carefree attitude will just end up being a heavier burden to your body. I'm thinking, are you really not afraid of dying? Nah, no way. Really, I think I'm afraid of death. I think I'm more afraid of death than most people. That's something in the future, so I can't think about that stuff like right uh, stuff like that right now. Because like I said, I'm living in the present. That's why I want to prioritize what I want to be doing now. Ah, uh, you can see your own death too. That's why you're more afraid of death than others. That makes sense. Even for me, I'd be shivering too if I could see the 13 steps of the gallows. No, it's not like that either. It's not like I can clearly sense when I'm about to die. Same thing. Say, can I ask you something for reference? You ended up with a body that's weaker than those of others. It would only be natural to curse it and to fear it for the span of your own life. Cheeky, don't you find it painful and hard living life with such a body? Isn't that right? You can no longer obtain a normal happiness like everyone else. As long as you have that body of yours, all that awaits you is suffering. Hmm. That may be so, but I'm happy. I'm sure of it. Because up until now, everything's been a lot of fun. That's why it'll probably keep on being fun in the future, too. Hmm. Is that so? Shiki, to be honest, I do feel some regret. That day, I feel like I said something to you I shouldn't have. That doesn't give anyone excessive power without reason. That's why if you have that power, Shiki, there des definitely has to be some meaning to it. But you know, it's up to the individual to decide what that meaning may be. There's no room for anyone else. No other factor or power can interfere, especially not something as ambiguous as God. It's why it would have been alright, if, even if you did nothing, Shiki. Even if you denied those eyes of yours and did nothing, it would have still been alright. I'm regretting my words because you could have led a normal life that's more suitable for you. Didn't I tell you back then that you should live your life with an honest heart? You really did that, Shiki, but... Something like that is really difficult to do. It would be much easier for you. you went astray a little because your eyes draw you to disaster. Isn't it ironic that a killer more skilled at that than anyone else hates also hates killing more than anyone else? If you lived a normal life or allowed your heart to deviate a bit from the true path, you wouldn't have had to have gone through so much pain. Yeah, that may be true now that you mention it. Probably would have been much simpler if I took it easy and gave up. That has no meaning, to start out with. I never thought of it as particularly painful. You have the wrong idea, Sensei. Everything I did, I did it because I wanted to. It's not like I'm a saint or anything, it's I just like myself the way I am. That's why when Sensei told me I could keep on living like this, I was truly happy. Sensei, I don't regret anything at all. There's no reason for you to regret anything either. <laughs> I see. I really gotta hand it to you. You've really grown up to be a good person. Hmm. Yeah, you're fine just the way you are, Shiki. The world is full of devious people, so someone like you would balance things out. I may end up being pretty harsh on you, but if you don't mind, then I guess it's alright. With Asiya, Sensei turns her back to me. I can't stop her, and there's no reason to. I can feel that this is really the last time. Now that I think about it, there is one thing I forgot to say. That day, in an ocean of grass... Facing a very important friend who had spoken with me, who was about to disappear. She told me, all I'm saying is live true to yourself, be 
become a man in the way that you think is right. She also taught me that I had to accept my mistakes, the meaning of I'm sorry, and how important that phrase is. That's why I need to tell her. Sensei? Just that if I say those words, I really won't be able to see her ever again. Hmm? Even so, I must say it. It's the right time. Thank you very much. I'm glad I met you, Sensei. These words that I couldn't say before as a child, so I was filled with the sadness of parting. That is how I, Tonoshiki, have always felt from the bottom of my heart. She stops there, lowers her head, and turns towards me with her usual expression. Take care, Shiki. Let's meet again, if we're fated to do so. She says this as if it was nothing, and the wind suddenly gusts. It rustles through the swaying grass, and the moonlight vanishes. After that, as if abducted by the wind, her silhouette disappears right in front of me. I exhale. It looks like... For the time being, my heart won't let me stand up. Hey, Shiki. Don't you find it painful and hard living life with such a body? Isn't that right? You no longer obtain normal happiness like everyone else. Once you have that body of yours, all that awaits you is suffering. It'll be fine, Sensei. Oh, this is new. Okay, hello. Oh. Okay. Okay, I, I was like, yeah, that's a that's been a faithful epilogue. I ask of you again, do you truly wish to go? What is this? I really am just far too kind for my own good. Sorry, can we appreciate CL in a cloak? She's doing the Master Chief. She's doing the Mega Man Zero. That's amazing. What, what are we doing? A long, long time ago. It was meant to be forgotten in the future, so it has already been forgotten in the past. For a life like yours to open both your eyes and catch a single glimpse of life, light would already be ample satisfaction, the elderly man clothed in black said with a gentle smile. What are we doing? What is this? That's a lot of chains. Oh, there's Arku had chained up. Okay. Okay, what are we doing? Is this backstory now? I am no longer capable of opening my eyes. I am trapped by these unbreakable chains and eternal- Okay, when she said she went to slumber, I always pictured her lying in a bed or a coffin. It turns out that's not the case. In this unmoving cradle, suspended by time, I continue to dream about many, many things by myself. Things that I remember, that I've forgotten, that I hope for and that I've never thought about. Everything resurfaces and sinks down, perishing like bubbles. In this dream, I accept it all without struggle, and my wishes and regrets. What if back then, say that I drank his blood, how would things be now? What if I kept on suppressing my bloodlust, would I be able to stay at that place? What if... what if back then... I was to take hold of his hand. Say that I really won't be able to take one more step away from here. That's all still good enough. It's because I've already been saved by him. Because I've already obtained unforgettable, priceless things from him. Maybe it's because I can think back to everything about him. Shiki. You troublesome person. Oh, breaking the chains? Okay. What is going on? Good morning, Arkuid. Huh? Okay. Oh my god, this is the best- this is the best ending. This is the best way to do the ending, holy crap. This fixes every problem I had with Arkuid's ending. Oh my god, I love it. Oi. Sorry about that, I'm really sorry. I have to apologize first. I broke a lot of things on my way in. Because of course he can break the chains. Of course he can. Even though... I do get that. All the entrances had to be shut, but... Barricading the main gate is going way overboard. All the other doors I found were locked or sealed off, and... 
All the stairs were blocked up halfway and those damn chains were everywhere I went. Any no idea how much effort it took and how hard it was to get in here? Shaky, why are you... <sighs> I've been going around too. I've heard a lot of things. There are ways to get to you and be with you again somehow. <laughs> Haven't we already promised each other? You said it before, that you'll make me take responsibility for killing you. But the truth is, I really just enjoyed spending time with you. That is why. Let's live on together, Arkwid. Oh my god, this is the best ending. This is the best ending. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, it's the best. It'll be fine, Sensei. Okay, I better start to get going too. It doesn't matter, even if I know there is an end. Her memories will live on, even if that... Even if that reached a conclusion, it would still surely be a happy one. Oh, Riku? Ri oh, 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 Riku? What? So, Sensei, there's no need for you to worry. Why is he doing that? Because I... What is he doing? Why is he doing the Riku? Because we will. Together. That's adorable. That's like... This is so good. Oh my god. Look at this ending. This is... This is what I wanted. They even get to live in a castle together. Oh, it's so good. We're happy to be alive. That's all that matters. Oh my god. Okay, so like, I... I understand. Okay, so here's the thing. Arkwood's ending was always like... There was like two of them. There was like the one that's like okay and the one that's like, you know, good but sad. This is taking the one that was good but sad and then just adding on that little bit of hope that really reminds me of like the ending of Fate Stay Night's final route. And it's just like, like the final, final, final one. And it's like, I feel so much happier. I feel like I can be, you know... <laughs> I, I get that it's, like, less deep, right? If, if you're one of those people who wants their endings to be, like, deep and sad and stuff, then, like, yeah, I can sort of see why you wouldn't like it as much. Uh, if, if you're one of those types that prefers that and is like, real life doesn't have happy endings. But, um, no, this, this filled me with a lot of happiness, and I really, really, really enjoyed this version. I, yeah, so... I remember people were saying, like, the manga is so good it can be seen as a companion piece and in many ways superior to the original visual novel, and I was like, I, I don't know how that could happen. I don't really get that. That feels like a lot of work for something that's, that's a manga versus a visual novel, right? Removing the audio, removing a lot of the stuff that makes a visual novel a visual novel, but like, holy crap, that was really good. The art had so much going on for it. The, uh, I mean, the only problem that personally makes this less good than the than the visual novel in my eyes is the fact that the translation is so bad. Oh my god. People need to fix this. People need to clean this up so badly uh, in many ways. But other than that, if we can get like a... If we can get a true like deluxe cleaned up version of this with better scans and good art... Uh, the art edits, that is, because you can see where they, like, paint over stuff and, like, actually filling up those boxes well and with no typos. Typos? Really? In the age of spell check? Come on, guys. But, uh, no, I still really, really enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah, no. I'm, uh, I'm very happy. So, all right. With that said, uh, this manga hardly gets my seal of approval. And is something that I would agree is a great way to experience Tsukihime if you don't have the time for the visual novel. Uh, but also enhances the original visual novel by reading it. I really liked it. It was really good. It is the true Arkwood route, at least until I read the remake and see how some of the uh, the Sasaki Shonen changes that were apparently 
because he he helped out with the remake apparently for some of the stuff i i'm excited to see that but we'll be getting that later much much later for now though i think it's time to go and check out the oh boy it's time for the Tsukihime anime which i bought for about seven dollars dvd full season english dub thank you all for watching guys we'll see you next time with that ciao